In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil Slancha St. James. We're also going to be using the Mighty Weck and we'll announce giveaway winner and a new giveaway. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in, folks. We have a good one for you today. Today, as mentioned before, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil Slancha St. James, and this comes to you for $19.99 for 5.5 ounces, and that is $3.63 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. We give that a score of 4 out of 5. This is a very interesting scent. I'm going to put the description for you on the screen right there. It's gourmandy, but it's not super sweet. It does have a little sweetness. Some of the uh, notes there, oatmeal, orange, almond, vanilla, butterscotch, really unusual, but to me, pleasant. I give it a score of four out of five in scent quality. The ingredients on this soap, I'll put it on the screen for you right there. This is in their slancha base, which is unusual. It's got mutton tallow, beer, and some other stuff. And for me, when I was lathering this, it was a little bit strange because the consistency is firm, but it wasn't holding together. It was a little gritty and grainy, and I was sort of chasing particles around. So I think I'd give it a score of 3.5 out of 5 in ease of use. I did get a good lather with it, and I'll show it to you right there. But um, it was kind of grainy and weird. Um, I'll show you the soap right there. It is really firm to the touch, but it was breaking up on me. So it wasn't my favorite soap to lather, but we did get a nice uh, lather with it. So we look forward to using this today. I think it will be a lot of fun to use. I think the quality is going to be very good and the scent is, for me, uh, pretty doggone nice. Scent strength on this, I would call it uh, right around medium. I give it a four out of five in scent strength. All right, the razor for today is the Mighty Mighty Weck. It is Shavet Sunday, so we're going to roll with the Weck today and I'm using Kismet Blades. And every time I make a video on this, someone will ask me, where you get these blades and it's simply on eBay. I don't know of any retailers here in the US. I think the Kismet is made in Germany, if I'm not mistaken, but eBay is where you get them in the US. And even though I'm saying this, someone will ask me in the comments below and I'm like, I covered that in the video. I covered that in the video. All right, let's get after it. And today, by the way, we'll be announcing a new giveaway. Let's do that right now. New giveaway today. Uh, if you want to enter the giveaway for this week, which will be a 25 gift card that I will buy from the Razor Company, just write Shave Talk below and you will be entered. You don't have to write anything else, just Shave Talk. And I'm going to announce the winner from the last giveaway in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. And let's get to lathering. Uh, let's mix this up a little bit because it's been sitting just a moment. I did get a nice lather, I do believe. I think it's going to be good in terms of quality. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. Got some... Uh, I had to really keep adding water to this because um, I was trying to dissolve some of the chunks of the soap, to be honest with you. I was chasing around in the bowl. It was uh, it was not my favorite uh, lathering experience, but sometimes you'll have that. I've never had that with the Murphy and McNeil soap before, uh, and it doesn't doesn't mean it's not a quality soap. It was just, it didn't hold together the way a lot of soaps do when you put them in the bowl. You'll have that every now and then, but ultimately, I think we got a pretty good result. And you could see the, the soap has a kind of brownish hue to it because it's very dark as I showed you before in the tub and it smells nice. I like this. I love Murphy and McNeil um, soaps. I think they're very good and even this one that's a different base. They have Aeon, they have uh, Kodiak and this one is Slancha. Uh, I prefer Aeon and Kodiak in terms of lathering but this I can tell already just by uh, the way it feels on my face it's going to be phenomenal as well and again it contains beer, Mutton tallow stout beer. So if you're interested in a soap with beer in it, this is one you might want to try. All right, let's cut that back and get down to business today with our WEC. Let's dry off our hands because we don't want to be slipping and we'll get into it. Today is a, another hospital day. We spent time at the hospital yesterday. My mother is doing well. She's improving. She's getting tired of being in the hospital. I can tell you that, but you know, that happens. That's expected, I would imagine. But she is improving, so thank you for all your thoughts, prayers, good vibes, and everything else. I really do appreciate that. And that is smooth as silk, as always is the case with the WEC. 
Now this WEC, the problem with the WEC is finding one that is close to full size because a lot of these hair shaper versions are very small. This one is not one of the small hair shaper versions. This one is close to a real, uh, close to full size. The full size ones with the acrylic handle are sort of a beige or bone type collar. Um, and those are full size. But there are a lot of these hair shapers that are very, very small when you get them in your hands. And to me, when they're that small, they're a little bit more difficult to use. But this particular hair shaper is almost full size and uh, I like it a lot. If I brought the uh, other cream colored one, I'll use that one at some point just to show you the difference in the size. It's not that much different from this one, but you can't tell a lot of times on eBay when you're trying to buy a WEC with, with an acrylic handle, what size it is, that's the problem. A lot of them are the mini sort of size. And if you have really small hands, that might be fine, but for folks with larger hands, I think it's a little bit more difficult to manage. But this is my favorite open blade experience. I say this every time I use the WEC. Um, there's something about that blade, that Kismet blade that's magical to me, and it's just hanging out there. You know, there's no protection from that, and it's all you. You just have to make sure that you're not coming in at too steep an angle. Make sure you're not using too much pressure. And when you do that, it just cuts really, really effortlessly. And uh, I really enjoy using it. And, I, and probably my favorite two is the Feather SS. I love using that with the Artist Club Blades and the, the WEC here. Really fantastic. And I prefer the WEC with the handles. Uh, I know some people like Camisori style, but I always uh, like straight razors with scales. I said handles, I meant scales. All right, let's finish that up. This thing just cuts so effortlessly. It is fantastic. We'll go ahead and when we get to relathering, we will announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And we're trying to keep those giveaways uh, happening every week because we really appreciate all the new folks here. We appreciate those of you who have been here a long time. We appreciate you all for watching the videos. I really thank you. I enjoy interacting with you. That's kind of the way I... Uh, let off some steam and stress and sort of a decompress and all that kind of good stuff. All right, let's uh, miss face their first pass. Amazing. And interestingly, with uh, these type shavettes, generally two passes is enough for me. I find that with uh, straight razors and shavettes, I tend to take off more than I do with DE per pass. So I don't have to keep going over spots a ton. I don't know why, it just is. Um, but anyway, let's announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And the winner is, I'll pop it on the screen right there, Jonathan McCarter. Jonathan McCarter. And I've seen Jonathan's been around for a while, and he's been entering many of these giveaways because I see the names that are entered. And uh, when I saw Jonathan pop up in the randomizer, I was like, good for you, Jonathan. So, so Jonathan, email me, cdb at imcdb.com, and I will send you your gift card. And thank you so much, Jonathan, for watching. And thanks to all of you. Thanks to the Patreon supporters. Thanks to all of you who uh, take part in this channel. I really appreciate you. It's uh, it really is a joint effort. I know I'm doing the flapping and I'm I'm wielding the equipment here, but I couldn't do it without you all, and I really appreciate it. And I got to tell you, you all have really lifted me up during these difficult times, and thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. There are people that send me love every single day, and I appreciate it. And I'm sending it back to you in return. It really does mean a lot. So thank you so much. All right, man. This is definitely a good quality soap. I don't have any quality issues at all. Good lather right there. And uh, Murphy and McNeil, they're, in my opinion, an underrated artisan because they make amazing soaps. And uh, Bill over there is a great guy as well. And I, I think I might have an affiliate code um, with with Murphy and McNeil. So if you order something at Murphy and McNeil, try uh, code IMCDB and it might work. I don't think it gives you a discount or anything, but I think it does help the channel. So if you want to do that, I certainly appreciate it, but it is not required and certainly don't buy anything on my account. But if you are there and you plug that in, I think it might work that way. So anyway, let's get after it and get involved with our next pass here with our WEC. And again, this is a hair shaper, but it's almost full size. And that is, to me, important. Because I bought a number of them that were not quite 
full size, thinking they were close to full size. Hear that feedback? I had to stop for a minute. It's very pleasant. Just make sure to keep that angle pretty shallow uh, when you're coming in, especially. If you come in too hot with a razor like this, that's super, super sharp and has a really thin blade, um, you will definitely give yourself a memory line. And that is, it'll just be a little line that stays there. And that is almost always coming in. You press and it just, it'll just leave a little line. So just be careful with that. Come in, you know, relatively flat or as flat as you can. And then rotate it to the optimum cutting angle for you. You don't want to keep, have it too wide and, and be scraping. Now I do, one of the things that I noticed in, you know, when I'm editing my video, and by editing I mean I don't really cut anything out other than, I cut out the rinse, um, and you know, I edit in the, the ingredients and all that stuff. So that's how I edit. I don't cut stuff out of the video other than the rinse or maybe if I get interrupted during the shave. But when I do edit the videos, one of the things that I notice is because of the angles of the camera and the way it's set up, that sometimes the uh, razor looks like it's, it's wider an angle than it is. But let me assure you, the angle that I'm using here is not very wide. So if it looks wide, it's usually because the, the angle that I am uh, in, in, re um, in relation, I should say, <laughs> to the uh, camera. So this is going to be... Um, generally speaking, I think the rule of thumb is the angle is about the width of the spine of the razor or so, the spine being this part. So it's not very far out. So try to keep it pretty shallow and then, you know, then you sort of rotate it out a little bit just to get an optimum cutting angle. And there's no, I mean, people say, people will state it's supposed to be this many degrees and that many degrees. What I say is, Rotate it to the point where it feels like it's cutting well without scraping, but it shouldn't be too wide. And then go with it. That is nice. Very nice indeed. All right. But again, I will remind you, it looks wider um, when I'm shooting these, vid these videos than it is in reality. Because it's, in truth here, when, it, when this is on my face, the angle is not very wide at all. Although it might look it, and sometimes it looks like it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I tell you what, this is just a fun razor to use. So if you're a lover of Chevette's, um, definitely Weck is one to put in your arsenal. Try to find one that is um, full size. That's my advice. That was excellent. It's so quality was excellent today too. Five out of five on quality. All right. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no staining, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we tied off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil Slancha St. James, and I'll run down the scores for you. Cost, four out of five, cent quality, four out of five, cent strength, four out of five. Ease of use, 3.5 out of five. Total, or overall quality, five out of five, and it brings us to a total score of 20.5 out of 25, and I enjoyed using this today. It was a little finicky to lather because of the consistency of the soap, but the lather we did get was excellent, and I really enjoyed this. If you haven't checked out something from Murphy and McNeil, do that because they make amazing soaps and I think you'll enjoy it. All right, we use today our Mighty Weck, which for me is the ultimate open blade experience. If you treat the Weck nicely, it will treat you nicely and you'll get an amazing shave. And the blade again is Kismet. Those are available on uh, eBay. I think I forgot to mention the brush today, which was the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish it out today once again with fine platinum. We're Still trying to use this up, and I hope wherever you are today, you have an amazing shave and amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. Thanks, folks. I appreciate you. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way. As always, God bless.